back again today to teach you guys more about Counter Strike and uh, found this thing recently on the internet that I've been using to uh, like get more skins and stuff. So basically, what it does is it takes one of your skins and it turns it into coins, or you can take coins and turn them into skins. But uh, with that ability to do uh, like the skin trading stuff, um, you can like spin this uh, wheel for all those coins that you get. So wheel right here. Here's the here's the website. I'll leave it in the description. But anyway, so you win a lot more than you lose. So pretty much you wager something, and then you uh, then you like down here you click one of these buttons or something, and it wagers stuff. Click the spin button, and it goes around in circles, and then you get more coins, and then you can use those coins to get free stuff. Now maybe in the last ten minutes I've gotten in the three times like five times, so it's not that hard. You just spin and you pretty much retrieve free stuff, unless that happens. Hello Lag. They did say their website was down or something recently. They also uh told me when I tried to put in coins that I couldn't do that because uh right then because well their system is currently overloaded. Yup. That happened, but yeah. Spin. Yay, I won something. See it's it's not that hard. I've gotten one times before. Which I didn't even think was on the wheel, but Apparently it's right there. There was another one. No, it's just one. Never mind. Oh, balls. Oh well. Yeah, you pretty much just spin the wheel and you get... See, that's what happens when you get one time, so it gives you the yellow thing. If uh, you look at the recent wins, there's occasionally some people who put in like dollars upon dollars upon dollars and then they got the little dash mark and they got one of the recent wins thing being amazing or whatever. See, this guy got three times but nobody ever pays attention to those people. And nobody really ever looks at recent wins. Oh, balls. Go, uh, come on. Ah. Trying to get the three times here, so we can show you that it does happen. That was stupid. It was right on the line. It should have respawned. There we go. See, three times. It's so amazing. But yeah, so you you have to log into the website through Steam, and then you have to get your Steam trade URL. And if you're confused about it, just click this button right here. It will take you to the page where you get your Steam URL. So it pretty much takes you here, copy this link, you paste it in here, and then you click the add button. I tried clicking add thinking that would paste and start giving me stupid messages up here. It's like, Chrome, this website is trying to send you a message. You can't do that. You need trade link. It's like, okay, that's what I was trying to do by clicking the add button, but I guess that's the wrong button. Yep, that's one way. Um, it's this website, CSGO Lucky Wheel. Now, uh, we're gonna go to. Oh, whoops, that was the other website. Let's see. Oh, prizes. So, right now, I am attempting to create a um, thing that makes it go, like, that makes it loop. So then, okay, here, um. Get tickets. So you go to get tickets. And you have to watch ads for two minutes. But what you're supposed to do is uh, click this button or refresh the page. See, right now I'm attempting to uh, create a script that will um, 
automatically refresh the page every two minutes and five seconds, giving this thing time to uh, finish the video in case it's uh, taking a little bit long. And then it will give me free tickets, and I'll just get a buttload of tickets up here. And then I'll go to like guns or something. And uh, one second. I swear they had a. Is, is that thing full or in? Oh, why does it keep showing that one? Um, hold. See, yeah, you have to log into this website too so that I can send you stuff. Yeah, it says you support them by clicking on their ads. Here, this, see, you can vote on stuff here. And you can put in, I not vote on stuff, I'll put in tickets there. Most of these are created by their staff, though, because, like, the staff, they buy these items. And then you watch their videos, they get free money from that to pay off the items and get paid themselves. And then you put tickets in here and then you get the free items, so it's a win-win situation. So, I guess that's why they do it on um, here. Now let's say you're going into a trade and you think that this guy is attempting scam or something and he's going to try to trick you. And they're thinking what you have is worth less, and what he has is worth more. Well, welcome to the page that will save your life. CS Ghost Dash. And this, you get all the weapons, all the skins, all the collections, all the cases. And, like, when I say all the cases, I mean all the cases. I mean even the cases that people didn't even think existed, like the souvenir packages and stuff. And, like, you get all the packages in here. I really want to buy that just to have one in my inventory. Because it looks cool. Yeah, that is a waste of money right there. I'll just tell you that now. These are, too. These, uh, CSGO weapon cases. Unless you're getting, like, this one. It's like, that's the most recent, the most new. You can... So they're more common, I guess. Or... More people have them still. You can say stop giving them out, which is dumb. I think they should still give out all these cases. And they should have a new esports case for summer 2015 and a winter 14 to 15. But yeah, um. But yeah, if you scroll all the way down, you got all the sticker capsules here and. You also have these uh, gift packages. Anyway, so um, that's CSGO Stash. Then here's the last one is uh, CSGO Lounge. Or at least this one's the last one in my opinion. So either you can bet on games here or you can put trades in over here. I know some guy who used CSGO Lounge to go from a 16 cent item to a knife. Um, let me see if I can find it. Like it, yeah, like a flip knife, it was, uh, flip knife, um, let me see, where is it, um, flip knife, yeah, it's not on here, but yeah, he had a flip knife, and it was a pretty crappy skin, but he still, uh, he, he traded in for some AK-47. Oh my, this guy is really stupid. Nobody's gonna do that. I'm sorry, buddy, but nobody's gonna trade an Aquamarine Revenge for a Vulcan. Just, like, straight up like that. They would want more stuff from you, no name. Um, this seems, uh, slightly unlikely. Stat Track M4A4 HAL. Really? I don't even think they even make those. That is just insanely impossible. 
and then you want Dopplers that are probably black pearls. That's not happening. I'm sorry, nobody's gonna trade those for keys. Especially for the amount of keys you probably have, Cater. Wait. Ah, I was hoping you put one on the special offer. You should probably have keys on there. Yep, that's this page. You can send trade offers and make bets, but you also have to log in on this website. This one's the only one that you don't have to log in on just because you're looking at stuff. You're not buying stuff on here. Just sends you to the uh, page that has all the stuff that you can buy. Get knives. See, the funny thing is, is that the normal skins are like cheaper than the actual normal knife. So here's the normal knife, 60 bucks. That one, the ultraviolet, which is extremely rare, is cheaper. Blue steel is cheaper. The crimson web is cheaper. The case hardened is slightly more expensive. Boreal forest is uh, less, obviously. Nobody wants a boreal forest or a fortis DD pat. Night is less expensive, and that one's rare. Um, this one's more expensive, obviously. It's a fade. Who would sell a fade for so low? Slaughter, very more expensive, just because it has sometimes rare designs on it, as I've been told. But, ooh. See, a lot of these things are cheaper than the actual knife. You know what I want? Just a plain old knife. Just because it looks better, in my opinion. Or the fade. Fade, case hardened, or plain old knife. No, wait, it was Doppler, this guy, and Fade. I want the case armor for the AK, my mistake. Yup, see, this thing's got everything on it. Everything, 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 everything. I'm waiting for the price of this to get closer to the price of this. Even though it goes way over the price of this, it's, mine's not gonna be even comparable to the case hardened. And like, honestly, case hardened is like, way more than mine. So I'm saying, um, Steam Market, which one was mine? This one. Ta da! It's definitely gonna be worth something. Four dollars. Totally gonna buy it. Yeah, I bet it will. Their Steam Market thing, but I'm right there. I want the price to go sky high so I can buy one of these with it. Who would buy one of those? I mean, honestly, the demand goes up, the price goes down. That's stupid. Demand goes up, price goes up. You know how it works. This thing's expensive, and it's stupid. I don't know why people would buy the first class, honestly. I can see the emerald pen stripe. It looks better than the blue laminate, I think. But, whatever. It's other people's choices. Black laminate. Laminate. That's pretty much just somebody painting the wooden stocks black, so then they look closer to, like, just a normal skin. Like, I guess making the AK look like a stock skin, like a normal stock skin for just about all the other guns. I mean, like, like, uh, normal stock skin for the fonts, see? Normal stock skin looks stupid, it's all black, you know, kind of thing. That's what I think he was trying to get at when he made the black lemon, or whoever made it. Saw it off, let's see what kind of stuff they've got here. See, it's got everything. Everything. Which is more expensive? Oh, the copper is more expensive. Um, train collection and the dust collection. Dust collection. So if I trade this up, I could get a blaze. A scorpion or Glock 18 brass. Honestly, if I was gonna buy one of these, I might as well just buy the scorpion because the scorpion is way better. No offense, sawed off copper. If I were to get that sawed off skin, see, there's a trick to all of this. Sometimes making things better isn't always better. Is it? Um, yeah, you could also. Wait, I want to see what this is. I've seen people trade both of those up, or they trade up the sawed-off amber fade with the other one. 
Okay, well that would suck if you got that and you really wanted one of the other ones. Especially because this is practically the same price as this at the lowest. And for real, that would really suck if you got screwed over like that. Uh, here. Hmm. What was the other one? Yeah, that was one of the trade-offs I didn't see people do. Meh. Whatever. I want to know what you guys think would be a good trade-up because I want to buy a bunch of skins and do a trade-up. Like, very, I'm going to buy a bunch of skins and do a very low trade-up. Like, maybe right now, actually, now that I think about it. So, I'm going to see. I'm going to go to collections. Oh, yeah. Um, nah, those are way too expensive. I was gonna say I can get the caramel, but that would be stupid. It would just be better to buy one of these. And instead of putting these in for exchange and getting something better, like one of these two, it would be way more efficient just to buy one of those two. So, salt's just a bad collection. Um, uh, what was the one that has a really cool thing in it? Everybody's like, oh my god, it's so amazing. Um,. Ta-da! The Op Dragon Lore. It's not actually a myth. It's real. It just has no price data. And there's no way anybody's gonna want to trade up a buttload of these. This is just way too expensive. $232 at the cheapest. And buy 10 of those and trade up for an Op Dragon Lore. Just no. Just no. Here, um... What was it? Baggage collection. That one's actually a pretty good one to trade up in. The jet set. That would be nice to have. Or the Desert Eagle pilot. Those two look nice, but the rest of these are pretty much trash. Mm, business class is okay. I think the only one I'd get out of this is the red leather. Coach. Blech. And. Mmm. Here, let me see if I can find a good collection here. Alpha collection. Let me see. What's this? Mm. Meh. That doesn't look good. Or very good at all. Here, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go to the Steam market and buy something really, really cheap. I wanna find a P2000 that's low, like the low level. Lower than that. No, I really want the scorpion though. So I might as well just buy that. I already have like a really good pistol skin. As you guys have probably noticed, I already have this. And there's very low chance I'll actually get around to selling this. So, though I did buy it for four bucks, so it would be a profit. Um, P2000. What are some low grade blue, like light blue skins. Mill spec, no. Industrial. Um, ugh, this, these don't look very good. Granite, grass leaves, coach class, grassland, pathfinder. The, no, just no. Here, let me see what's uh, lower than this uh, grassland here, because I might get a souvenir. If I get a souvenir, those are usually worth a lot. Hmm. What, what, what are these? Hmm. Strange. Militia, overpass, baggage, and Italy. None of those are very good collections. Gods and Monsters is just really expensive. Oh, well, I might as well just look at the overpass. I haven't seen this one. Wait a minute. That's new, right? No, no, it's not new. Or is it new? I don't remember a CC75 Nitro. But I remember the Road Rash in this guy right here. But I don't remember the Nitro at all. Or the detour, I swear the detour is new. I think they added new ones to this. MP7 Gunsmoke's old. 
Glock 18 Knight is old. I used to, I had that before Gods and Monsters and all that stuff came out. Yeah, I think this thing just has new stuff in it, but also has old stuff. Because I know the masterpiece is really old. I mean, like, that was around a long time ago. I know when some guy, like, bought a hundred dollar masterpiece and was like, What is wrong with you, man? Um, office collection, why not? White out, meh. Silver, meh. Blizzard, meh. Oh my god, all these are terrible. Why would I even buy one of these things? Okay, um. Vertigo. What the? I said vertigo. Vertigo. Jeez. That thing has some problems. Oh, it's this one. Hey guys, I'm gonna buy a bunch of black laminates and maybe I'll get something better as restricted. Dang it, I got it. Like, no sense skin. <laughs> Lol, you fail. Kinda thing, you know? You suck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade up for PB Bites and carbon flavor. Pay overpriced. 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 Wait, no, this one's not overpriced for. Wait, I have an idea. So if this is one dollar and eighty cents for ten of these, and this is two dollars at the least. If I trade this up, I'm getting a better item. That's it. Da 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 da. Yay! I found it. Mac 10 Urban DD Pack, but I don't have enough money for those. So we're just gonna minimize that. Go on Steam. Go to the community. Market. My mistake. Um, scroll down. Counter Strike. And then just find something. Back here. Recently sold. Chrome up. Chrome up. Oh, that's. I was like, wait a minute. That's that doesn't look like a uh, CS:GO item, and I was like, oh, it's Team Fortress 2. Og Storm, five cents, four cents. Looking for something that's like three cents. Wait, what did I just recently put on here? Jeez. 3 SG1 Desert Storm. Uh, which one's the cheapest? They're all the same price, but I can afford 10 of them. So, here, um, let me see which one has the most at 4 cents. Or I could just buy them all from once. Yeah, I can buy them all from this section. Let's do some trade ups, guys. Nobody buy it. Close. Buy. Purchase. Close. Buy. Purchase. Close. Buy. Purchase. Close. Buy. Purchase. Close, buy, purchase. Yep, this is real fun, isn't it, guys? You just love watching me click buttons for a half an hour. Especially because there's only 10 on one page, it makes it really easy to figure out who I'm buying from here. Who is this? I'm interested to know who this was. because it's a picture and I think I know who it is. Here we go, let's do that trade up. Ten new items. Oh god. Wow, that's a lot of G3s. Don't mix 
Don't mix it up with my new orange Camino now. That would really suck if I accidentally shoved that in there. No, it went in the trade-up contract. Ball sack. Good thing the Caminos last. It'll make it really hard to select for exchange. Figured you guys might want to see this, but it's coming up next time. Dun-dun-dun.